Hello everybody and welcome once again to Mechanism 110. At the end of the last episode, I had upgraded these machines. Well, I put around them these uh, resistive heaters. If we have a quick look at this one now, you'll see the temperatures really reached quite a reasonable high level. 3.24 thousand Kelvin. So 3,000 Kelvin is pretty hot. And the production here is, I think, is maxed 100 millibuckets per tick. So Brian's going out here at one. Actually, that's actually full. But that should be, should be being pushed into this tank here. And the brine is coming in here at 150 millibuckets. So it says. Now, and that's then coming out into here. Oops, can't do that. Let's go over the front. This is the brine and this is producing lithium. Now the temperature here is also rising. It hasn't quite reached the top. This is empty. And liquid lithium is 10 millibuckets. Because... This tank is not yet full, but it's filling up quite quickly, actually. So this is also maxed out, I think, for this particular... So 10 millibuckets per tick for this height of 3. That's interesting and quite good to know. Now, I've also been playing around with some mods. I've changed some mods. I, um, Well, you can see if I press R now, if I look at my inventory, first of all, and press R. Oops, you can't see that. You'll see now it's moved all the items into my um, inventory here. And what it's done is I basically was playing with inventory tweaks. So I could then configure the mechanism items to be where I wanted them to be. These basically these four here and have food in the middle. And then the blocks were sorted out here. And also I've sorted out the cabling so that the cable will get sorted along this row. And what I'll do is I'll put all of that details in the comments, or the extraction of the file anyway, and which files get are changed if you're interested in doing that yourself. Um, and also, I've updated some mods. The one I've updated was the FTB utilities. And the new version doesn't seem to have the highlighting of the dark zones with the yellow dot. So what I then did is I added more overlays and more overlays also allows you to press Z here as well and you can then search your inventory I think you have to press Z again actually to, to have a turn that off item search disabled and the other one I did is I I replaced Whaler with H Weiler and H Weiler then actually works correctly on the mechanical and the mechanism machine. So if I now come around here, instead of seeing enrichment chambers everywhere, I see a rotary condenser, a chemical infuser, another one, a, crystal, a chemical crystallizer, a chemical washer. So everything's now correct. Chemical dissolution chamber, an elite ejection factory. So everything's now working as it should have been before. So that means less confusion as to what's going on, which is great. Makes life a lot easier for me. Now today, we're going to start on doing some work with um, the reactor. or we'll prepare it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a laser amplifier. And for that, I'm going to take these... I know I need some diamonds. I know I need some reinforced alloy. I know I need some steel, which I've got on me. Probably need some reinforced alloy. Probably need some redstone. We need a lot more redstone than that. And some gold. I think I want 12 gold actually, so let's put that down like that. Put those up there. So what we need to do is to make this um, laser amplifier. And it's this block here. What this does is it basically collects energy to start the reactor, but it needs a lot of energy. It needs like one gigabyte of um, gigajoules of power. So the recipe for that is this, and we've got already a basic energy cube in our inventory, so it shouldn't be a problem to actually make this like that. Even though the basic energy cube is charged up, this should now get I already have a little bit of energy into it. And the next thing we need are these, the lasers, and I'm going to make three of these lasers, so that's why I need these energy cubes in here. So let's make, oh, I need six, don't I? So I need um, to have a run out of there redstone 
And I think I need some more gold as well. So it's three per, so I need another six gold ingots. That'll do, I think. So we can carry on with these, like that, and go plop. So now I've got six, so now I should be able to make... I also need some frames, if I remember rightly, so I need three frames. I'm going to make three of these lasers, obviously. Click that into place there for we... Of course, we have to do this three times, because the uh, energy tablets don't stack. Like this. So that's basically going to power this, and I've got the place where I want to set it up. Oh, the other thing I did is actually moved around the... Um, turbine and the boiler, so I put the boiler at the front, as it were, and I've also increased the number of fuel wood reheaters to 15 from 7 I had before. So this is now producing a reasonable amount of uh, power. It's got in it 11 million and it's producing it at around about 3,300 RF per tick, or 3,400 RF per tick, or if you want it in joules, it's 8,500 kilojoules per tick. And that's actually rotating around. Looks sweet. So here I'm going to put where it's where I'm going to place the reactor. And I did it as that design because that's actually the bottom level. Now here I'm going to place this amplifier. So first of all, I want this to go up one more block, I think. So what I'll do is I'm going to put on top of this. Let's put on top of this here, like one sandstone block. Because this will be the first. Uh, let's have a look. That's going to be the first. Look. Actually, this will probably be where I want it. In fact, yes. I'll remove this. And the cats are very noisy as well. I'm going to place that facing this direction here, like that. It joins up to the power. It doesn't doesn't take power in that sense in that way. So what I'm now going to do. I'm actually going to pick up this here. Move this out of the way. I don't want it yet down there is I want a, a lever. And I'm going to configure this now to being on high and put a lever on top of it like this. If I can reach that, is, let's have a look. So the lever's in off position, so that will, won't work until it's turned on. So the next thing we've got to do is we've got to put lasers into this, facing into this. So what we need to do, first of all, is to drag some cable out here like this. Have I got some universal cable? I haven't got actually enough basic universal cable with me. I'll need to go and make some more. So I'll put back, well, I think it goes back, has to go back two like that, then has to go up. So we'd better go and make some more cable straight away. And after we've done this, we'll need to make some. The reason I'm doing this first is because it, I told you before, is it takes such a long time to charge up. So cable, if I remember rightly, is redstone surrounded by steel. And I want to make about 64 of these. I've never got 32. That'll do. Like that. And what's nice with the mechanism, you can also update, upgrade the pipes in situ too, and the cables, all of the these items that we've got here. So now I want the cable to go, let's put that down here, up like this. And then this is where the this is where the um the laser's going to face. So let's put the laser into place now. Or one of them anyway, let's put it down like this. I think it needs to be there we go. And then it makes a sort of a buzzing type noise. If we now come down here and look at the um Amplifier. I want to try, say take this one here. We'll see that it's already storing. It's starting to store energy into here, and it's basically got to get up to around about. It. This is actually a little bit strange. I don't understand this. Sometimes it says the max is five gig, and sometimes it says it's it's two. But anyway, at the moment it's five. We don't want to turn this on. If it does, it'll actually blow a hole through everything, all the way through the wall. There, it's for, I don't know how many blocks, but a lot of blocks. So what I'm going to do now is place more cable around here like this, so that I can basically put the next one facing this. So, like that, I think is what I need to do. Yes, that looks good. Then we can stand on here and we can put the next one laser down here like that, which is great. And then do the same on the other side. There 
there we go. So that's slowly power. This is like all the power of this is coming from the um, here, the turbine. In fact, you can hear it's already changed. It's not getting enough power. I maybe need I need to upgrade those cables for that to work better. But that's actually going down. So I'm not producing enough power, I don't think, to maintain that level. So I'm not going to upgrade the pipes anyway, or the cables in this, in this case. But we are going to start with the next part of the next machines. So we need to produce two liquids, deuterium and tri tritium, I think it's called. Um, what's it called? Liquid tritium. Liquid sulfur tri trioxide. Yeah, tritium. We need to produce tritium. And you produce this by concentrating tritium. Brilliant, huh? Now, we actually, so it's easier than that. We need to also make some more pumps. So we'll do that first. Now, no room. Pumps require energy uh, casings. I only want three, I think. And we need a special filter for these pumps. So there's that recipe for pump. So it's three buckets, three. Okay, that's fairly straightforward. So we need some mosmine ingots, more enriched alloy, um, casings. We've got buckets. Was the other one, wasn't it? So we need three sets of buckets. So I've got one. There are a couple in there already. So let's make three buckets, especially for these pumps. And maybe that'll actually make the three pumps once good. I'm also going to make the upgrades for those actually straight away. I'm going to make have to make 24. I'll make as many as I can. Let's take some more redstone and some more enriched alloy because that's what the main components are. Then we need some speed upgrades and energy upgrades. So uh, that's the wrong one. So let's just. Uh, oh, it's glass as well as what I wanted. Ah, okay. I think I've got plenty of glass in here as it happens. Yes, I have. We want speed and we do, in fact, we don't want so much speed. Thirty-two. I actually want, I will actually do thirty-two. That's the energy ones I want more, but I'm going to have to put these down first, aren't I? Let's see what we don't want in here. We don't need the steel, and I don't think we need the diamond for now. Probably don't need the reinforced alloy, but we do need some speed upgrades. So we need some. I've got the gold dust. All right, good. Sorry, did I say speed? I meant energy. So this one. And I, the one I also need to produce is this filter upgrade. So that's made with tin dust. In fact, I got tin dust on place in here. So we need three tin dust. We better make this first actually, because if I don't do that, it won't work at all. So let's do that. I'm gonna need some more glass. Right, those are your three. They don't stack. What you can do, but also I would like to, let's actually tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put these pumps down. Because I know, straight enough with pumps, you can actually put them down. And you can then, oops, configure them as you want them. Like that. So we don't have to do after everything that you sort of maximise the speed on all of these. Like that. Oops, I have to just open this, I keep forgetting. And then while that's what doing this, let's get some more energy. I'm going to need some more glass, aren't I? So let's take another stack of glass in here. I haven't got enough rich and enriched alloy at all. So I'm going to quickly make some more enriched alloy. I should have lots of iron in here because I was processing that earlier on. So we'll take, um, so we've got here 32. Let's take 32 of those which will give us four stacks of enriched alloy. Strangely enough, we do need it. So 
Oops, I didn't take these. One, two, three, four. Four. So fairly quickly after that, we should start to get some enriched alloy coming back again. Yes, that's working just fine. But in the meantime, let's get some more of these and maximize the ones we can do. So we've got 29, so we need the energy upgrades. We've got 14, so that's a six. Oh, okay, it's not quite enough, but let's end. So let's put this filter upgrade in here first and eight energy upgrades. While that's waiting, we'll do the same for this one. And the six energy upgrades. Like that. And here we can only do the filter one for the time being. But you can hear the machines are clicking away, the logistical sorter. So we are getting back enriched alloys. 28, maybe enough, 30. I probably need to, a little bit more. So the energy ones. 15. That's enough for the pumps. It's not enough for what we need, but it's enough for the time being. So let's shift those eight in there. And this one in here, we can put those, the remaining two. So those are now maxed in all cases. And the filter is the one that produces heavy water. So let's pick up these. Like that and pick up this. So what we now need to do, basically, what's going to happen is I'm going to feed into this into this uh, reactor to the two fluids from both sides like this. So I really want the the heavy the heavy fuel to come in here. So let's just start back, say here, the heavy water. What I'm going to do is a fairly simple design. I think I need to go back two. Sometimes I want to go back three and sometimes I want to go back two. Depending on how high I want the liquids to come out. So normally I want it to come out about here. So what I'm going to do is come around here, put the put the energy part. Uh, which side shall I get the energy from? Actually from behind. Okay, that's good. So what I'm going to do is put the power down here, and then on this I can put the pumps like this. Oops, that's so annoying. Like that. And then the fluids can come out the top and go into the machine here. So what we're going to do first of all is then have to dig down no, we don't have to dig down there. We need some water, don't we? So let's get some water. Now, water is available in this tank just around the corner here. I've only got one bucket with me. So I'll have to come back twice. To do this, we'll start here. Then of course I can pick it up from here. Uh, hmm, I could, if I could reach and pumps in the way. So that's a, let's just go down here and pick it up like this. I can put one over there. Now oh, same problem. There we go. And again, actually that's it. Now the water's st stagnant, so to speak. So we can now put the last pump down here. And power. Now power's going to come from underneath. I think I've already prepared this actually, so let's just dig down here. And I think I've got power coming in here. So there was that, that's that power look. So basic universal cable can come along here. And this is again is coming from the reactor. Not the reactor, the, the, the turbine. that like that and then we can just simply put the cable across here like this and what I'll do is I'll remove this one as well and put the cable down here pick up the sandstone and that holds it in place and then we can simply come up here with the one K 
cable. And then we can put some sunstone down here like that, and it sort of hides that. And then we can hide this later on with um, uh, covers. Now, what else do we need? Well, let's do this, press R and get my chest in the right place. So we need some mechanical pipe. Basic mechanical pipe. What we're going to do here is we're going to feed this water out of here like this and you'll see this time it's actually a different color because it'll tell us in the pumps here let's have a look at the pumps it's heavy water and what we have to i'm going to remove this block now by the way went a bit fast and heavy water we then have to post process this heavy water let's see so if we can find it in um here find heavy water and if we can right click we can do the uses so with the electrolytic separator we will get deuterium and oxygen so the next thing we need to build is an electrolytic separator I see that's rather useful to be able to remember you can find things in the NEI or GAI in this case so an electrolytic separator No, it can't spell today. I'm having difficulty. It'll be this machine here. So, right, this fairly straightforward recipe. We need lots of dust and lots of it. enriched alloys. We should have plenty of enriched alloys in here now. Good. Take two. So we wanted some gold dust, which I've still got on me. I think we want some and we want an iron dust. I think it was an iron dust we need for that. Let's have a quick look. Yes, indeed. So, rest of this should be fairly straightforward. So now we can do it and create ourselves some deuterium. I'm just thinking actually, if I put this in this, and I've not really put this in a very sensible place because it comes out of different sides. What we don't know is which side things come out of when we're starting this if i look at the go back to that recipe again it was heavy water wasn't it here like this so the usage of that here so this would say the deuterium comes out on the left hand side and oxygen comes out on the right hand side from the front so let's put this down like that and have a look at actually what's going to we won't see anything yet until we get power of course so let's give this some power. Power's coming along here, as you can see. And I need to run another set of power cables down here. So let's just do this. There is one thing I haven't shown you as well. And that is this charge pad or this thing here. If you look at this at the moment, I've got 714 kilojoules in here. If I stand on the on here, you'll see it's actually getting charged up. So it charges up not only your free runners, it'll also charge up all of the electric power things you've got in your inventory, including the teleporter. They're all now fully charged. Oh, I've gone wrong, huh? Got lost. I got lost. So this needs some power, so it's fairly straightforward now. We're just down those two blocks there and just go and get the sandstone and then start to put the cable down here I've not really found any so far I haven't got that many uses for upgraded cables but I know later on we do have it so here we see on the left hand side we've got some deuterium and on the right hand side we've got oxygen so we'll dump excess oxygen to make sure that we never we don't have a use for that at the moment in this process anyway so let's make some more gas tanks first of all I think that uh, we've got nothing components for that and oh, we want two no, maybe I'll make, I'll make two for now and I'll take these and upgrade those two like that 
Well, at least we've got some storage for some oxygen and some deuterium while it's producing this. So what I'm going to do here is to simply put these down like this. I do this anyway because it's a, it's, it's a good thing to do. Because then you're absolutely sure. See, here's the deuterium coming out on this side like that. So the image was correct. As you go back to the image here, go back to the... Um, Actually, we can't see that from here, can we? Is it deuterium? Do you know how to not spell that? Let's do it the other way around. Oh, it's a U. Okay, so that's on the left hand side, and sure enough, it is coming out on the left hand side on in here, which is fantastic. Now the next thing we need to make, we'll let that build up, is some titanium, isn't it? Oh, anyway, we need to go and make some more pieces of equipment for that. So what we need then are these solar activators or these things, neutron activators. Now these are fairly expensive. Bronze ingots aren't really a problem. I'm going to make two to start with. HTPEF sheets, that's already done. And elite control circuits are these. I think, let's have a look what we've got in here. We haven't got any elite control circuits in here yet. So we need four of those, I think. Like that, and we'll need some of these as well. And we need some casings. I think I saw casings in here. Plastic sheets, we we'll have plenty of those. They should be in here. Over here and do that. Bronze, I haven't got any bronze. And these. Four will do, I think. And if it's too many, it doesn't matter. Bronze ingots should be in here too. Copper, half ah, seven. We've got just enough. We need six, don't we? That makes two. Right. Now, what these do is these convert lithium to this tri trium. So, lithium is going to come out of here like this. And what is we need the we need this part, we need the um, gas one. So what we're going to do is take this out of this like this and actually dig down one layer. Because it only works when it comes from below. So I wonder if I've got any pressurised tubes on me actually. Probably not. But maybe we've got some in the, in the personal chest. Move those out of the way. Because they don't require power. Basic thermal, basic universal. Where have they gone to? Elite transport, basic pressurized tube, something. So, what I can do is I can take these down here like this, bring those across. I think that will be good. Now, these things actually, depending which way you put them, is where the output's going to come. So I've got a feeling I'm going to move this around as well, so never mind, we'll put it down like like that, good. And also this one. So now you'll see the output on these is going to be on that side, here. And you see here's lithium, and here is the triterium, triterium, and triterium is coming out. So we can do the same with this, in fact I'm going to go and get make another gas tank. I'm also going to make a chemical infuser too. So let's make the gas tank first of all. I'm not even bothering to remember these recipes, I will be honest. And let's, let's upgrade those like this. I'm going to make two, in fact. What else do we want to do? Uh, Move some of this stuff out of here now. I wanted to make a chemical infuser, didn't I? The chemical infuser is going to... Oh, actually, I do need two basic gas tanks for that. 
I better make two more gas tanks. That's oh, that's a creative one. Can't make that. There we go. Oops, I'm in the wrong place here. So I do need some more. I've got lots of that, and it was redstone, I think. Two. Yep. So now back to the infuser. So we need some control circuits as well. Don't need the redstone. I do need these. Basic control circuits and some enriched alloy. As always. Ah, we need a dynamic tank. Which should be cut. Oh, we should have one in here. This looks like a dynamic tank. Look, good. Where am I? Chemical infuser. That one. Now oh, we've got one of these. This is going to make the DT fuel. So I'm going to put these items back in here. Oops, I do want that one actually. I'm going to put it over there. I'll need more of these as well. But I'll do that uh, possibly not on camera. I think I've got a funny number as well. So I must have got one extra in a pump. So these things are now producing this DT fuel. What are we going to... No, so triterium. So this basically pressurised tube. We can put down here like this. And then on the top of that, I'm going to put one of these advanced gas tanks here. Like that. So this is now going to fill up with titanium. It'll fill up reasonably slowly because these are solar powered and now it's night time. So we have a quick sleep. We should see these filling up slowly. Like that. So this should now be filling up slowly, which it is. And so is the uh, titanium, uh, deuterium here. That's also filling up. Now those two combined, I think I could do that here. I'll probably move this a bit too far forward. But anyway, I'll move it back a bit. I'm going to have to put the chemical infuser here. It's not ideal actually. Because it needs power. Yeah. It is the right way around. So let's just take these gases from here. I'll just turn this around actually. Like that. Put my pressurized tubes down here. I need to take it away too, to, so it doesn't connect with the oxygen like that. And the same over here. Like that. And then this will make DT fuel. At the moment, it should be full with tritarium at one side and deuterium at the other. So if we now just uh, put some power to it. Let's come down here. And basic universal cables. Are in my chest, I guess. There we go. Put that up like that. And then we can cover this with sandstone. And here we have some DT fuel. And that is what we need for the reactor so that's it for today uh, so everything's preparing next time I might not build the reactor I might build an induction matrix I think that's what it's called have a quick look just to be absolutely sure one of these things here a basic induction cell with an, an induction casing because we, when the reactor starts we're going to need somewhere to store all this power and one of these will still uh, will store one gigajoules of capacity, and this one will store eight. But this is pretty expensive because you need four of these, which means you need lots of basic energy tablets, lots of energy cells. So we need lots of energy tablets, steel casings, and all the work. So until then, I'm going to say bye for now.